February 14, 2018, a date that will never be forgotten. On the afternoon of February 14, 2018, a mass shooting occurred at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida. 17 people were killed and 14 more were taken to hospitals, making it one of the world's deadliest school massacres. The suspect, a 19-year-old Nicholas Jacob Cruz, a former student at the high school, was identified by witnesses and arrested shortly afterward. He confessed, and according to the Broward County Sheriff's Office, he was charged with 17 counts of premeditated murder. The BSO received a number of tips in 2017 and 2016 about Cruz's threats to carry out a school shooting. The FBI received information about Cruz's threats and concerning behavior in September 2017 and again in January 2018. Police and prosecutors have not yet established a motive and are investigating a pattern of disciplinary issues and unnerving behavior. Some of the students who survived the shooting became gun control activists and founded the advocacy group Never Again MSD. The shooting took place during the afternoon of February 14, 2018, on Valentine's Day, at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida. The suspected shooter, Nicholas Cruz, took an Uber ride and was dropped off at the school at 2.19 p.m. Cruz entered Building 12, a three-story structure containing 30 classrooms, typically occupied by about 900 students and 30 teachers armed with an AR-15 style semi-automatic rifle and uh, multiple magazines. He activated a fire alarm and began firing at students and teachers. The fire alarm caused confusion as there had been a fire drill earlier this morning. Cruz had illegally purchased a rifle from a nearby Coral Springs gun store a year before the shootings at about 2.21 near dismissal time, staff members heard gunfire and activated a code red lockdown. A school resource officer of the Broward County Sheriff's Office ran to the scene but took a position between two other buildings next to Building 12. He later stated that he did not enter Building 12 because he thought the shots were coming from outside. The shooting lasted six minutes, after which Cruz dropped his rifle on the third floor of the building and left the scene by blending in with fleeing students. He then walked to Walmart, where he purchased a soda at its Subway restaurant. He then walked to a McDonald's and a Lingard before leaving on foot at 3.01. At about 3.40, he was stopped by a police officer in Coral Springs, two miles from the school and taken into custody without incident. He was taken to a hospital emergency room with labored breathing, released after 40 minutes, then booked into the Broward County Jail. School surveillance camera footage was used to identify Cruz as the suspected perpetrator. He was recognized by a staffer before he entered the building and was also recognized by witnesses during the attack. 14 students and three staff members were killed and many other wounded or injured, including at least 14 who were taken to area hospitals. Three remained in critical condition on February 15 and one by the following day. Of those killed, 12 died at the school, two just outside the school buildings, one on the street and two at the hospitals. The victims who died were at ages 14 to 49. The suspect, Nicholas Jacob Cruz, was born on September 24, 1998, in Margate, Florida, and was adopted at birth. His adoptive father died in 2004. His adoptive mother died at age 68 in November 2017, three months before the shooting. He had been living with relatives and friends since her death. Cruz was a member of the Junior Reserve Officers Training Corps and has received multiple awards including academic achievement for maintaining an A grade in JROTC and BS in other subjects. 
According to CNN, he was also a member of his school's varsity air rifle team. Cruz had behavior issues and he was transferred between schools six times in three years in order to deal with those problems. In 2014, he was transferred to a school for children with emotional or learning disabilities and returned to Stoneman Douglas High School. Two years later, the Florida Department of Children and Families investigated him in September 2016 for Snapchat posts in which he cut both his arms and said he planned to buy a gun. State investigators reported Cruz had depression, autism, and attention deficit the hyperactivity disorder. In their assessment, they concluded he was at low risk of harming himself or others. He had previously received mental health treatment, but had not received treatment in the year leading up to the shooting. An email from the school administration had circulated among teachers warning that Cruz had made threats against other students. This led the school to ban him from wearing a backpack on campus. Broward County Sheriff Scott Israel described Cruz's online profiles and accounts as very, very disturbing. They contained pictures and posts of him with a variety of weapons, including long knives, a shotgun, a pistol, and a BB gun. Police said Cruz held extremist views and social media accounts believed to be a link to him contain anti-black and anti-muslim slurs. Cruz's YouTube videos included comments stating, I want to die fighting killing ish ton of people. Threats against police officers and Antifa and that he intended to mimic the University of Texas Tower shooting. CNN reported that Cruz was in a private Instagram group chat when he advocated for the killing of Mexicans, blacks, and gay people. He said his hate for black people was simply because they were black. He referred to white women in interracial relationships as traitors and expressed anti-immigrant and anti-Semitic views. A former classmate said Cruz had anger management issues and often joked about guns and gun violence, including shooting up establishments. A 2016 graduates high school described him as super stressed out all the time and talked about guns a lot and tried to hide his face. A student enrolled at the school at the time of the shooting said, I think everyone had in their minds, if anybody was going to do it, it was going to be him. A classmate assigned to work with him in sophomore year said, he told me how he got kicked out of two private schools. He was held back twice. He had aspirations to join the military. He enjoyed hunting. He also bragged about killing animals. A neighbor said his mother would call the police over to the house to try to talk some sense into him. At his arrangement, on February 15th, Cruz was charged with 17 counts of premeditated murder and ordered held without bond. If convicted, he could face the death penalty. According to an affidavit by the sheriff's office, Cruz confessed to the shooting. He also told officers that he brought additional loaded magazines hidden in the backpack. The public defender's office said he will plead guilty if the death penalty is taken off the table. The chief public defender said it's yet unknown if, it's, if his attorneys will seek an insanity defense. Florida Attorney General Pam Bondi said she is certain prosecutors will seek the death penalty. Cruz was placed on suicide watch in an isolation cell after the arrangement. Thank you for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up if you like my videos and if you want me to do more stories at story time. Stay tuned.